hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel and in today's video i am going to be showing you guys how to integrate your seller account with facebook pixels in just three minutes so make sure to stay tuned so first things first is what exactly are we gaining by integrating our seller account with an integration tool and the main idea is because we want to be able to track out whatever our customer is doing on our store okay for example if your customer is about to make a purchase in your seller store you're able to see this through this integration tool okay and if your customer doesn't make the purchase or makes the purchase or you know just select a particular product on your store you'll be able to track out all this activity using this integration tool and now in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you guys about the facebook pixel integration tool so yeah like i said i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this in just three minutes so make sure to watch to the very end okay so you want to ensure you have these two sites opened on your browser you can as well do this on your mobile device you just want to go to seller.co and then you want to open facebook ads manager okay if you don't have an account for seller i'm going to drop a link to a video down in the description below so you can actually watch it so as to create your own seller account okay so i'm just going to log in into my account and then for facebook ads manager you will also want to click on start now over here okay and then you just want to log in with your facebook details okay so now i'm in my seller account as you guys can see and also my facebook ads manager okay so the very first thing you want to do is to start with the ads manager you want to click on this all tools over here and then you want to go to events manager okay now what you want to do is to click on connect data and then you just want to select web okay let's you select web you just want to go to connect all right now the reason why we're going for web is because we're basically looking at seller which is best defined with web okay so now you can just name this any name you want to give it i'm just going to give it kit cast all right and then i'm just going to click on okay let's say kit cast on one and then i'm going to click on create all right okay so immediately you click on create as you can see they're going to ask you a question add your website you can just keep this for now okay I don't have a website and then you just want to click on continue okay now immediately click on continue um you can see these meta pixels and conversions api and we have meta pixels only we can just go for meta pixels only okay so you want to click on next all right and then immediately after clicking on that you can see uh manually add pixels code to websites and then you have use partner integration okay uh we can just cancel this uh, ideally we would have gone for check for partner but if you notice you wouldn't see seller over here okay so all we just need here is the id okay you can see i generated a lot of ids okay depending on whatever you want to track okay so i'm just going to use this for an example okay what you want to do is to copy one of them okay Okay, control c okay so we're starting with this one and then now this is when you want to open your seller okay now immediately in your seller you want to ensure that you're in your creator profile okay you can see i'm in affiliate profile but you want to ensure you're in your creator profile okay so you just want to switch and then you want to select this okay and then you want to scroll down to integration and then you want to come to facebook pixels okay so now this is where you want to paste in the id and then you just want to click on update pixels okay so guys as you can see what basically done that's it that's basically it so now in order to ensure that yes what you've done is actually correct we have the test too okay as you can see test events okay so you want to test it and ensure that yes it's actually working so you can see test events check that your events are set up correctly test events are meant to help you validate that your, your website app and several events have been received as intended okay okay so as you guys can see confirm your server's events are set up correctly confirm your website events are set up correctly you don't need to do anything again guys it's okay over here it's very okay um there's no need to select this and then paste the url whatever all you simply need to do to test is to just go back to your dashboard okay and then you want to come to your store link okay you want to click on store link and then uh you don't even need to do much again just go back just go back and check as you guys can see it is working perfectly as you guys can see it is working perfectly and let's say i try to purchase one of them or let's go for buy now 
uh pay now okay if we go back you can see you can see guys you can see all right so it's showing it's actually very active so yeah guys that brings us to the end of the tutorial based on the seller integration i hope you learned a lot from this video and if you surely haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe to enjoy and learn more informative contents like this one and yeah also drop a like on today's video and also share it out so as to you know ensure that the video reaches those who are actually looking for very nice tutorial like this one and yeah guys i would see you all in my next video